Well, hello there, motherfuckers. So Triple H, you know, they do a whole press conference, WWE. They're uh, coming out now with the uh, United Kingdom Championship. Nigel uh, McGuinness is going to uh, cover this. Um, he's going to, uh, you know, be announcing. And, you know, okay, it's like, who the fuck cares? You know, we, all we want is better quality wrestling from them. All we want is, you, you know, better content, better pay-per-views. We want storylines. We want them to have characters. We want them to be edgy again. We want a reason to watch. This United uh, Kingdom Championship thing, I don't even know, like, why anybody would be marking out for this. I don't see why anybody would be a, a huge fan of this decision to have yet another title. I mean, okay, so they already have the United States Championship, the Intercontinental Championship. It didn't even make sense when they had both championships when the brands were combined in. But now they're going to, um, in, you know, now that they have the brand split, I guess it makes sense again. But now where the fuck does this title fall into place? Why do we need another title? You know, I, I don't understand, like, that's kind of the reason why they got rid of the European title. To me, this is the same thing like the European title. It's, but instead of it being all of Europe, it's just the United Kingdom. It's just the U.K., so the question is, why the fuck do we need this belt? Why is it necessary for them to introduce a new fucking belt? It, it makes no sense at all. I, I mean, is this going to get more appeal from UK fans? Is that what they're hoping for? I don't really think getting a former ROH guy in Nigel McGuinness is really going to make much of a fucking difference. Um... I don't really think that that's going to really uh, get people to fucking watch more. No. That's what I'm saying. Whenever they think they've got a big announcement, it's a big fucking joke. It's like almost every single time Dixie Carter said that they had a groundbreaking announcement for TNA. And then it turns out, oh, we're just touring in India. I, I mean, it's no big deal. They called a press conference. They could have just posted this on WWE.com. They get everybody together just to fucking say this. We've got a uh, United Kingdom title coming out. It's like, who gives a fuck? It's like such a joke. You know, back in the day, when they would give big announcements, it would be fucking earth-shattering. Something that would change the WWE forever. Now you get a fucking United Kingdom title. This is their big fucking announcement. Get the fuck out of here with this fucking bullshit. A, a, a fucking title is not going to save WWE. This is not going to cause a stir. It's not going to get people talking. It's not going to trend. You know who it's going to trend? And you know who it's going to get talking? Is the same fucking nerds, the same fucking marks, the same fucking people that worship WWE. Those are the same people that are going to be praising this decision and talking about it. The rest of us, like myself and everybody else, are going to be like, WWE still sucks, and a new title, adding a new title to a shitty promotion ain't going to do shit, because they're still going to book the title poorly. They're not going to really do anything interesting with it. They're going to have a 16-man tournament. Uh, you know, who the fuck cares? They just had a tournament for the world title last year. We're going to have another fucking title. I don't know who I don't know who's going to be your United States Championship. You know they they just already had a, a cruiserweight uh, division added that they have and a cruiserweight title added that they have no idea what the fuck to do with, and now they're going to have another fucking title. You know there's no fucking point to it basically. Just you know new title. Um, and, you know, they're just gonna fucking put it on somebody, and there's not gonna be any storyline around it, nothing interesting at all. So, fuck this new title, and still, fuck WWE.